This is a work solution to AQA Physics P2, June 2013, higher tier, question 2. Question 2a is about the current voltage characteristic across a filament bulb. In order to find um, how the current varies with potential difference, we need to use the variable resistor in the circuit to change potential difference um, by changing the resistance in the circuit. So why is component J included? Well, that is to either change the voltage in the circuit or change the resistance in the circuit. Other acceptable answers uh, included to change the current in the circuit as well, or to change the potential difference, or you could have said to increase or decrease it. The resistance of the light bulb increases as the potential difference increases, because as we increase the potential difference, our light bulb gets brighter and hotter. And as it gets hotter, its, uh, its resistance increases because there are, um, there are more collisions going on inside the filament. So the answer that we need to put here is the temperature of the bulb increases, or simply it gets hotter. Part 2 asks us to calculate the power of the bulb, and we're given the current and the voltage or potential difference across the bulb. The formula that links these two from the formula sheet is that the power of an electrical component, the power dissipated in a component, is equal to the potential difference across it times the current through it. So in this case, it's 12 volts times 3 amps, which gives us a power of 36 watts. Uh, question 2b is uh, a six mark written answer question which relies on uh, good use of English and uh, spelling, punctuation and grammar. But it's about the comparison of different types of light bulb. And it asks us to evaluate in terms of cost and efficiency the two types of bulbs. So if I were answering this question, I would first of all concentrate on cost. Um, and I would say that the halogen bulb is clearly cheaper than the LED. If we um, want to do a calculation on that, we could say that, in fact, uh, it's the LED is six times the price of a halogen bulb, because six times £1.95 is £11.70. So we could say LED is six times more expensive. Okay. Other considerations about cost, though, is if you're buying this, the LED actually lasts 36,000 hours compared to 2,000, which is 18 times longer. So, in fact, in the lifetime of the LED, you need to buy 18 halogen bulbs. So, our second point on cost is LEDs last longer. And we could say, you know, 18 times longer. Um, 18 halogen bulbs cost £35.10. Okay. Um, it says here that the efficiency of the halogen bulb is only 10%, whereas the efficiency of the LED is 32%. So it costs more to run a halogen bulb because more energy is wasted than it does an LED. And uh, our LED bulb here uh, needs to be replaced fewer times. So there's a lower maintenance cost, for example, if you had to pay somebody to replace your bulbs, like in a shop or in a large industry, you would have to do that less often for an LED than you would for a halogen. In terms of efficiency, um, we can clearly see the LED is a more efficient bulb. So we could say under efficiency, the LED wastes less energy. Um, or we could say LEDs more efficient. Um, by 22% more. Okay. Uh, because it's more efficient, it's going to be wasting less energy as heat and giving out more as light. So LED wastes less energy as heat. And it requires a smaller input power for the same output power. So if we were to turn this into a good written answer, we need to take all of these little points that we've made and, and turn them into a sentence, uh, several sentences um, along the lines of 
Halogen bulbs are cheaper than LEDs. Uh, LEDs are six times more expensive than halogen bulbs, but LEDs last 18 times longer. Um, it costs more to run halogen bulbs because uh, 18 halogen bulbs costs £35.10, which is more than the cost of the one LED at £11.70. In terms of efficiency, an LED wastes less energy uh, because it is 22% more efficient than the halogen bulb. It is more efficient because it emits less heat.